Yes, this is the most important evolution which is required in modern times for sustainability. In the past, we had free sector, the money-making operation uh, of the private sector. The second sector, that means the public, uh, which was trying, uh, the government through taxes, trying to repair the damage done by some corporate. And then the third sector of volunteerism, and non-profit activities, uh, also trying to do some charity for the people left out uh, the situation of uh, inequity where most poor were left out of the system. In modern times, this free sector should no longer be, like in the past, complementary. They should instead become collaborative, inclusive, uh, cannot be one against the other. Uh, there is no way that the government and the tax paying system can repair the damage to the climate or to the environment caused by the wrong exploitation of, nation, of natural resources. Therefore, the private sector has to be uh, aware of the risk and consider all appropriate prevention methodology to avoid a situation of lack of sustainability. In a way, the free sector should become uh, like uh, the, uh, the three legs of a table. If you remove one leg of the table, the table will fall down. Uh, so they must cooperate much more and not see each other as the other, the other side, uh, we and them. It should be just one community, people, government, money, private sector and, uh, and the third sector collaborating for the happiness of the society. Uh, if the earliest we do it, uh, this kind of evolution, the better. All experiments which have been done in Southeast Asia has demonstrated that when corporate social responsibility become an effective tool of planning a production system, everybody is much happier. The capital is happier because money is, more, is made better, more and more sustainable. People are happier because they don't suffer the side effect. Government is happier because uh, some of the results uh, of uh, making the economy and the society grow are reached faster and in a more sustainable way. Yes, there are various kinds of courses available uh, for whoever wants to fast learn this kind of knowledge of possible collaboration between uh, the civil society, the private sector and the government to protect better the environment and made, make our development more sustainable. The courses are adapted to the need of the people. Some of them are traditional academic courses. You find a lot of them uh, in some outstanding schools in Thailand, there are some of the best in Southeast Asia, with uh, Chulalongkorn University, Tamasat University, the Asian Institute of Technology. Uh, also, there are other kind of uh, courses, more executive. They, they focus more on tacit knowledge instead of academic knowledge. And these are developed and uh, they are given to, to uh, professionals who do not need uh, to acquire new knowledge. They just need to certify the knowledge which is available in their company in order to make it uh, um, replicable in a kind of curriculum of education. This is done by various uh, private companies, uh, uh, large consultancies like, for example, Accenture, McKinsey, and various other companies which are present in all uh, countries in Southeast Asia. Last but not least, there are a number of initiatives online which one can uh, uh, follow on his own computer at home, wherever there is no accessibility to formal education, these kind of courses can also be done online. All information is available in the CSR Center for Asia, which is based in Hong Kong, but it has also an office in Bangkok, specialized for Southeast Asia. The CSR Asia Center uh, is the longest uh, experience of collaboration between private sector and uh, uh, non-profit sector in Southeast Asia. They are there since more than 10 years. 
they organize various uh, master uh, of education in this field. They also organize uh, ad hoc training for companies specialized in some sectors, like, for example, energy, water management, uh, uh, village development, sustainability of agriculture, and many, other, and many other fields. They also organize one summit once per year in Southeast Asia, where all the trainees and the trainers, those who have something to learn and those who have something to teach, can meet and exchange their knowledge. So nowadays one uh, can answer the question that there is no problem to find the right, the appropriate training. What is missing is instead the will to decide, okay, I want to learn more, more and they want to become part of the solution instead of being part of the problem.